but they are going to get a little break for this one. Uh, that was a video about what a slam poem is. Slams are essentially competitive poetry nights, which is ridiculous. Um, but they had many rules, uh, and one of the rules is about time limits. And one of the common time limits is 150 seconds. Two and a half minutes. So most people will cut short on that time. They'll, they'll just go under, make sure they're safe. Not Miko. Miko, this year, won the Scottish National Slam Championship and went to Paris and came fourth in the frickin' world. Yeah. And he did it by doing an incredible thing, which is a poem called 150 Seconds. And it is exactly 150 seconds. And I don't expect you to believe me, so we have proof. Um, so, good luck, bud. <laughs> Without time limits, my mouth would run forever. So sometimes I wish that love was more like a slam pole. Give me 150 seconds and just half a chance. See, my words can dance all night, but my feet, they get tired. Tired. My name is Miko, and I'm a poet. There's a lot of things I don't believe in and a lot of people that I do. I smile when I'm nervous, I dance when I'm happy, and I cry at the end of Homeward Bound. Sometimes I feel like silence is just a thing that's there for me to fill. Other times I feel like that without time limits, my mouth would just keep running forever. So sometimes I wish that love was more like a slam home and I haven't looked into it two minutes. According to Google, it's long enough to one, get engaged, two, revise, or three, fall in love. I don't know about you, but I'd say if you're getting engaged in under two minutes, then maybe you're rushing things a little bit. <laughs> don't you at least want to hold the hand tight, tell them the rise of rights, stay up all night to the daylight. This might be the rest of your life you're talking about here, so get it right. And if two minutes is long enough to revise, will someone explain to me why nine hours and four Red Bulls later I'm not the only one crying in the corner of the library? <laughs> I'll give you fallen in love. With the aid of gravity, I've been known to fall in under 90 seconds. I got so damn tired of no one being there to catch me that I started wearing knee pads. I strapped a parachute to my rucksack and just prayed for a soft landing. Did you know that 81% of falling in love happens in your head? And girl, you must be tired because you've been running through my head all day. <laughs> It's exactly the kind of shit line I would say if I tried to talk to you, tried to make you fall too, tried to drag you down with me into that dark, dingy pit that we call love. <laughs> we're all we ever see is each other, and even if we're lucky enough to fall together, let me tell you, some of us fall deeper than others. And I've been building up love to such a great height for so much of my life that I was already falling when I met you. 52. Weeks or in a year, and if I could reach out and touch the future from here, then maybe I would feel you on the other side, telling me it doesn't matter if I get things wrong as long as I try it. And if I'm sad, I can use your body. I mean to bend your ear or cry on your shoulder or get a helping hand when I need another leg to stand on. I've only got 37 pounds left in my pocket, but I would bet every single penny of that on the fact that we would be perfect together. But how can I tell you that when in just 31 seconds I'll be gone from the stage and you'll forget my name and return to page 28, where the hero always says exactly what it is that you want to hear. My dear, just 25 seconds of stop motion animation takes hours to make it. If our love was a movie, I want it to be like that. If a reaction would make was that deliberate, considerate, and precise, then maybe I'm tempted to tell you not just once but twice that if I only had 15 seconds with which to compare you to a metaphor, I would not know what to use them for. I would just stand here looking dumb with 10 fingers, 9 excuses, 8 reasons to never again do this. And I wish that love was more like a slam poem with the ending in sight. Because if I timed this just right, I should be free to want you. <laughs> Amazing.